Now let's look at question 16. Uh, the following questions will be about uh, printing out your data. All right. So set the page orientation to landscape. So go to page layout. All right. Orientation, change it to landscape. And then it says 17, save the data model and print a copy of the sheet showing the formula used. Now, when it says save the data model, it means save your Excel workbook, right? So just save. There you go. Uh, and print a copy of the sheet showing the formula used. So what you've got to do is go to formulas um, and say show formulas here. Okay, this will display all your formulas. Now, make sure that all your formulas can be seen. If you look at um, cell B7, you will notice that there are certain uh, parts of the formula that is hidden. So what you need to do is you need to select all or you click here and double click on the columns so that all the data are, is uh, arranged nicely. Okay, now it also says that the printout fits on a single page. So what you need to do is you go to file, go to print, and for scaling, because it says everything must fit on a single page, change it to fit sheet on one page. All right. so the next question says, make sure that your name, candidate number, and center number are printed in the header of the page. Now, what you need to do, you need to go back here, go to insert, and select header and footer. Right. so your name, Center number MY4226969 because I like that. Right, so go to file again, go to print, make sure your name, center number, candidate number is displayed. All the cells are fully visible. Now, uh, in your internal exam, what you guys will be required to do is to create a screenshot of this and uh, paste it into an evidence document. Okay? Now, let's move on to the next question. Set the page uh, orientation to portrait, question 18. So page layout, orientation, change it to portrait. 19, save the data model and print a copy of the sheet showing the values. Now, because your formulas are displayed here, you have to go back to formulas and click show formulas here to hide the formulas. Okay, so as you can see, some of the data cannot be seen. Select all, double click on the columns so that all data can be seen. Okay, make sure that the contents of all cells are visible and the printouts fits on a single page, right? So go to file, again print. So fit sheet on one page because it says uh, make sure that uh, the printout fits on a single page and make sure that your name, candidate number and center number are printed in the header of the page. So name, center number, and candidate number. Right, question 20, hype rows 1 to 5 inclusive. So 1 to 5, right click, hype, hype columns A, C, F, G, and H. So A, C, F, G, and H, right click, hype. So it says interrogate the data to find all the trees where the cost is less than one pound, right? So when it says interrogate or extract from the data, it means sort and filter. So first thing first, highlight the column headers, go to home, go to sort and filter and select filter. All right, you will see uh, this drop down box, uh, drop down buttons appearing, okay? So we So it says uh, where the cost is less than one pound. So click here, right, under number filter, less than one pound, right? So the cost is less than one pound, one. Less than one. Click OK. And print the data. So again, go to file, print, create a screen capture of this for your internal exam. And let's go to the next question. Now select all of the data, interrogate this data to find all the trees where the size is 4 and the cost is greater than 2. So when it says all the data, you need to clear your previous filter first. Alright, so click here and click the uh, clear filter. Now it says uh, to find all the trees where the size is 4. So size, number filter equals to 4. And the cost is greater than 2. So click here, number filter, greater than 2. All 
right? Again, print the data, screen capture, paste it into your evidence document, and we are done.